lost again. <laughs> He's not helping much. All right, what do we get this time? Ooh, we went cheap. Alien archaeology with the Rosetta Stone World. We get a yellow die right off the bat. Uh, explore plus four dollars instead of two when stocking with an alien technology yellow explorer. Ah, so if I use a yellow die explorer, double the money we get. That's kind of interesting. An Earth's Lost Colony! Blue die. Space... Ah, <laughs> it's that Sentinels thing again. Gain three bucks and an alien technology die. You may reassign one red or rare brown. Rare elements brown worker to any phase. Hmm. Same problem as before. Do we have enough dice to even get to six? Last time I was only trying to get to five. This isn't going to get us a new die. Just going to let us re reallocate. We are going to start with any red or brown dice, so it's useless for us unless we get those colored dice. All right, let's check the flip side. Hydroponics Guild reassign a cyan or green worker to any phase. Well, we do have cyan. And <laughs> the Lost Alien Battle Fleet. Damn it! They're insistent that I take something super expensive. Ah. Ah. Well, I mean, this is slightly better than the other one. Hmm. We might take this one, then ditch the alien battle fleet, get a cheaper one. Yeah, let's do that. What do my opponents have? Galactic religion with the pilgrimage world and new Sparta. Two red dice, gain a blue die. And over here, space piracy with the hidden fortress and an ancient race. Sounds fun. Ah, what do we got? Not the one I wanted. Don't have anything to sh I do have something to ship. Um. Hmm. Gonna buy my yellow die out of there. die <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> explore plus four instead of two when stocking with an alien technology yellow explorer um yellow explore <laughs> so you're never going to roll it straight up. You have to dictate it in or some other way move that die into the explore command because it can't roll for the benefit this gives. That's funny. That's funny. I are amused. Oh, let's see. Let's go block that one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All three of us picked it. Oh, three bucks or two victory points. I need I need the bucks. I need the space dollars. The space Krugers. Five no! I got more monies than me. I have four of the dollars. All right, what are we looking at? One special. Special. It's that weird one that I have to I have to give one up, which is fine because I can't use that one anyway. Oh, actually, I can.
No, wait, that's a gray world. Yeah, so I can only do one production anyway. We can do that, and we can shift this over. Four bucks out of that one, and then explore with those. Or do I lock this one in to get the Hydroponics Guild down so I can reassign a green and blue? Please, please, please. Yay, we get both actions. Alright, I don't get the four bucks this time because I left that yellow, but... Cash. I need to scout. Do I ditch the battle fleet? I think I have to ditch the battle fleet. Mining world. Brown. Research team. Oh, look at that one. Explore, draw and keep an extra tile at the end of this phase. If you scouted with at least one alien technology yellow explorer, another extra buck. I like synergies. I think we're going to keep these two. We'll look at the flip sides. Galactic Mandate. When using Dictate, you may reassign up to three, not one other workers. Oh, that's a good one, too, especially with all the dictating I'll be doing. Rebel Warrior Race. Remove any one of your dice and gain a military red and a green die into your citizenry when you place this world. You could ditch a white and gain a red and a green, huh? Hmm. I need dice, and I like both of these. If I can get them in fast enough. Doesn't match any of my current color synergies. I need worlds. Worlds are usually what give you extra dice. I think I need to pick between these. Let's go with the Rebel Warrior race. All right, we're gonna go with those two. <clears throat> Mega biscuit for Zombie Dog. Where's? Oh, there he is. Let's see if he arrives to the sound of the. Uh, it, he's gonna stare at me. <laughs> he's just, just staring at me. All right. The other one's going down the hall. It's over there. Go find it. <laughs> All, right. All I can see is a, a fading tail wag heading down the hall. Ah, uh, what was I doing? Drag remaining st uh, scouter stock. All right, so do we scout again? No, oh, we need to keep getting our cash up. Auto. So. Cool. Give me all my dice. One wild card. Look at all that scouting. That is a pile of scouting.
much I can do to affect that currently. Um, I could dictate to get it to two. I could dictate this over to here. <laughs> that seems kind of funny. Actually, that works just fine because I'm trading out a die to get a larger benefit. So I effectively, especially if I get that other card down. Yeah, that'll work. Um, so we dictated, we locked, got a wild card. Do we just go completely overboard here? Or do we change up the strategy? Dictate that into there. Lock that one in. That way we can get this one done. My future dictate actions, I can move up to three workers. Which would be a really big benefit. I think we need to do that. Get that in place. Alright, so locked. All the dice are in. Um, I don't have any extras below these. Again, I think I'm going to... Actually, we got five bucks. No dice in our citizenry at the moment. Right, we'll scout once. Draw one, please. Operations Affinity. You may reassign one worker, become an explorer, or producer. More affinity. Reassign stuff. Or the tourist world. Purple dye. Um, doesn't lean into anything we've got going on. Some mid-range cost. Gets us a purple dye. I have enough reassigned stuff. Take that one. <laughs> yes, I would like my galactic mandate. Didn't quite get enough cash for all my dice. Okay. And we have one world out that can produce anything, so we can dictate. I got nothing here. Yellow die is wild card. I guess that's the other occasion it didn't occur to me. You got three chances for the wild card, so it being a zero here is not really important since half the times you roll it, you're going to get to assign it any way you want. Hadn't considered that previously. Hmm. I can get two out of three done. Remember, I can uh, dictate pretty much anywhere I want. With that there, I could go there, there. Man, that is a good one. So, we got all three. That'll let us get the Rebel Warrior race out. Then I can pop out a white die for a red and a green. Uh, but only if I... Hopefully we don't lose this. Um, nobody's going to do the shipping command. Can't really tell if they're going to do production. There's a fair chance we'll get both. We did not. <laughs> Everybody picked the same one. That's unfortunate. Okay. Go away. I don't like you. Ah, crap. They went into my citizenry instead of the cup. <laughs> I have no money to buy my dice out. 
Yuck. Dictate over there. The green local subsidies, <laughs> more reassignment. Uh, if I get that down, I can pretty much just put people wherever I damn well will want. Where we're getting close to, anyway. Sure, let's keep that. Hey, I got all my dice back. Yeah, I think the hardest part I find in this game, for me at least, is finding and remembering the balance between keeping the cash flow going to get your dice back out of your citizenry pool. It's always where I end up stumbling, is trying to figure out a way to, to balance all that constantly shifting dice. Uh, I'll do them in first. So, got nothing to ship so you're my sacrificial lamb now basically i can pretty much put anywhere any 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 dice wherever i want so got a wild card do i have enough to actually do four and two to drop all of these i'd like that one here but that's gonna let me shift three Could do two. That gets me the four for that. Then you to there. You to there. I don't want to lock that one in. I'll lock in that one. Oop. Now again, we have a boatload of dice in our citizenry, but not enough cash. Look at all those fancy little wildcard symbols. Now we're, we're out again on worlds. I have nothing in production to ship, so sacrifice. Wrong again, damn it. The money again. Nothing, any, nothing fancy going on now. I got no cards that I can play. I got so many reassigned things, I can pretty much put things wherever I want. And again, I didn't get the other one. Uh, you're going for the cash. More cash. Scout. 
Organic Shipyards, five. Shipping, act as if you have an extra home white shipper and an extra green shipper for use this phase. Huh. If I was doing a lot of production, that'd be pretty important. Outlaw World, get a red die. And we'll take the Outlaw World. Terraform. Two dollars and a purple die. Terraforming robots. After settling, again, this was something I wanted early, not late. One dollar after completing any world. If completing a brown world, one extra. Eh, sure. I still don't have enough money. <laughs> Damn it. I always miss guess or, or guess wrong on how much cash I'm going to need. We're still barely in the lead till it recomputes. Yep, now we're not. <laughs> it just recomputed. Yeah, I never have enough space shuckles. thinking they have no money so they're gonna go do the exploration thing but they never do and it always annoys me again you're can I move move green on it's for free move a green I can move a white so both of these can be moved without me having to do anything else could do that. That. Oops, I need one there. Blue or green, not both. I think we'll just cover the spread. <laughs> we'll just have dice everywhere. That's that's the way you're supposed to play the game, right? So I lost five dice of uh, opportunities there. Getting cash. All right, I got dice. I can move them around. I just need to... Uh, now's when I actually need those big number cards. Right here is where I need them. And I don't have any production going on. These are all useless where they're at. Unless I scout and get a, get a development in. And I want to avoid more developments. I want planets. Planets is the last things that I want. So if we do that, that over here, and we get you guys here. Thinking on not doing developments. Ugh, ah. <laughs> Again, I lost all of those days. Man, that's painful. Every time I see it happen, it hurts me in my soul.
What do you think? Keep Outlaw World? I think I'm going to ditch Outlaw World. I need a big one. I need, uh, I need big ones. This one's not going to do it. Let's, let's ditch Outlaw World. There we go. In a dollar and a green good. That's a little more like it. What do you look like? Pirate World? No, I don't like Pirate World. take those two. I'll probably ditch Pirate World next time for an extra card draw. Keep Lost Species. Arc World on top. Oh, that's right. I got more dice now to spend. Uh, let's again. There. Bye, Pirate World. Oh, there we go. Alright, now we're talking. <laughs> Ah, Galactic Bankers! Ah, plus one victory point per development in your your your, your tableau. I've got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, each time you trade a good this phase, you may spend one dollar to gain one victory point chip. Ouch. Formal penal colony. Former penal colony. Uh, no thanks. I think we'll go with these and just just pray I can drop them. Don't think I'm going to have enough time. All of the dice. The fact that I can move them around at will should should help tremendously. <laughs> Especially when I get like three in place at once with a wild card. I got five bucks to buy cards back. I need to get two more in here. Four more in there. Do a white and a blue. I can get both of these out of here. So I can do that, that for free. That's before I dictate anything. Then I could uh, dictate. Oh, there's nothing left to dictate. <laughs> Got the five. It's going to get me the Ark World. I think the Galactic Bankers is actually going to be the more important, but got three to start here. Switch to there. Before. Dictate. Stop doing that one over there. Oh, no. White or green or blues. I already did the blue, already did the white, so I would have to dictate. I think I'm gonna try to get this one down this round, because I'm getting worried about how many rounds are left, and I'm barely hanging in there with these guys. If I get this thing dropped, I think I'll take a pretty big jump forward. But rather get this one down. So let's dictate. Green and red over here. I'll card that. Alright, I think that'll do. We got all six that we needed to drop that. We should get a big old load of uh, victory points. And I think if this fires off this round that I can get the cash and get all my, my dice back, I might be able to drop that next round and I think we'll have it sealed up. Then if I just drop any world or any kind of the next one I have, uh, it'll be over if they don't finish it sooner. Go for it. Hey, both fired off. Yes. Cash, please. Nine. Six. I think that's enough for this next round. 
gonna finish off with the three cards we've got, so I'll just not do anything there. We'll just get more cash. All right, so we're at 18 points currently. Place Lemo. Give me all of my dice back. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Aha! We jumped to first. Only four points ahead, though. I thought I was going to get a little further than that ahead of him. We can keep up the, uh, the roll here. Drop these next two before they finish us up. Auto. So this time I wanted this. Blue die can already go anywhere. I can move a white die for free. Uh, that gets me four. Blue gets me five. So we've got that locked up. Drops in the Lost Species Arc World. Didn't dictate anybody. I can't move anybody else for free can I if I did where would I put them this guy's useless where he's at I uh, got no goods out to ship I think I'm just gonna leave it as is they're both low on cash so it's somewhat likely they'll fire off this this is guaranteed. Yep, we're just going to leave it this way. Oh, they didn't. <laughs> Auto. I should be able to finish it out with the next round if it doesn't finish this round. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, I'm barely ahead still. 35 to 32. I don't have enough dice. I don't have enough dollars. <laughs> Come on, give me a good roll. Give me a good roll. Need five of these things. This will be the last round. That's not what I needed! Damn it! <laughs> no! Can I get it? Can I get it? I can move a blue. I can move a white. I can dictate to get these other ones in here. We got our five. <laughs> Okay, and then a wild card. Oh, wild card where? Hmm. Hmm. Fine, be that way. Got something to ship. One green goods ready to ship, and it's a green die, so we should get the extra. Assuming that that fires off, we have to do this one. Hopefully these two fire off. Get the victory points for the uh, landing of that last planet, plus we'll, if we get the shipment off, we'll be able to trade that in for victory points as well. I can't think of much. There are a few cards he could drop here late. That doesn't have any extra bonus stuff, so that's not going to get him ahead of me. He's way too far behind. Yeah, I think we... I think... I think we have it locked up. Unless something weird happens. I did not get my ship phase. Oh, well. Auto. Place. Yeah, we, we both got the final ones in. Game over! Empire complete! Winner! <laughs> Finally! We took one! Ah! The sweet taste of victory. <laughs> Alright, so that's a pretty good one. That was pretty close. 40 to 36 to 32. Stayed fairly good, fairly close all the way through. It uh, made a massive difference. I didn't realize just how powerful it was going to be when I had like four different abilities to swap dice around whoever I wanted to. That um, is the only reason I was able to pull that one out once I got that synergy rolling. And I'm glad I went for the high power cards uh, like three, four phases in before the end of the game. That's the only way I think I pulled that out by ditching that one and 
swapping up to the uh, the big guns. All right, so roll for the galaxy. There you go. <laughs> I think I'll stop roll for the galaxy right there for now. We got a victory in. Let's uh, let's end on a high note. <laughs>